System 44 presents Is This Art? by Grace Nguyen. Hi, it's Alicia. Let me tell you about this book. In Is This Art? you will read about 11 works of art. Some are famous, some are not so famous. All are a little bit controversial because people can't agree. Are they really art? Look at them, read about them, and decide. But first, let's go over the smart words. They will help you understand this book. Remember how the words are set up? First, we'll read each word. Next, we'll read the part of speech, like noun or verb, and the definition. Last, we'll read an example sentence. Remember to look at the pictures and read the caption, too. Turn to page 2. Smart words. 1. Artist. Noun. A person who makes works of art. An artist made this painting of a soup can. 2. Change. Verb. To make something be different or new. Some art can change the way your house looks. 3. Create. Verb. To make something. Today, I will create some art. 4. Familiar. Adjective. Known or seen by lots of people. This work of art is familiar to many people. 5. Sculpture. Noun. Something made by shaping stone, wood, or another hard material. This sculpture is shaped like a cherry on a spoon. Now you know the smart words for this book. Look for them in bold letters as you read the book. You'll see the words create and familiar in many other books, too. Is this art? Also includes words with ch and tch, like check and match. You've studied words with ch and tch in System 44, so they'll be easy for you in this book. Let's get started. Turn to the introduction on page 4. Is it art? What is art? People love to chat about it. They have a bunch of ideas about it. Some like paintings that look real. Some love big sculptures. Others like art that is wacky and wild. What is art to you? The works in this book may change your mind. Some say they are art. Others disagree. Check out the pictures. What do you think? Wrap it up. Christo and Jean-Claude are artists. They wrap things in cloth. They make familiar things look new and different. Once, they grabbed a bunch of cloth. They stretched it around a big building in Germany. Some people did not like it. This work did not match their ideas about art. Others thought it was great. What do you think? A big spoon. Spoon Bridge and Cherry is a sculpture. It is a fountain, too. Two artists created it. They made a metal spoon. It is really big. It stretches 52 feet across a pond. They made a metal cherry to match the spoon. It sits on the spoon. Its stem sprays water. The water drenches the cherry. Is this just a cherry on a spoon? Or is it art? Check it out, then decide. Cows for charity. Catch these cows. Cow parade takes place in different cities each year. Artists are given cow sculptures. At first, all the cows match. Then, the artists paint them. The painted cows go on display. People check them out. People can buy the cows. The money goes to charity. Are these cows art? Some people do not like them. Many think the cows are charming. React. Do you think these cows are art? Why or why not? Easy art? A French artist created sculptures. He used familiar items. He did not do much to them. He wanted to change ideas about art. Could people see ordinary stuff as art? One such sculpture is bicycle wheel. Duchamp found a wheel. He flipped it upside down. He used tools to attach it to a stool. It was a new idea. Does that make it art? Some people said no. What do you say? What a catch! Did this shark bite through the roof? Is it dropping in for lunch? Is it chasing someone? 
No, it is a sculpture. A bunch of people did not like it. They said it was much too big. They said it was dangerous. It might crash to the ground. The owner showed it was safe. The shark is still perched on the roof. Is this art? What do you think? Soup can art? Andy Warhol was an artist. He often painted familiar things. His style is called pop art. Warhol painted a batch of soup cans. They look like ordinary cans of soup. That was the point. Warhol wanted to paint simple things. He wanted to paint stuff we see every day. What do you think? Is a soup can art? Or is soup just for lunch? React. Would you like to own a painting of something you see every day? Explain. Stan's Gadget. Marcel Duchamp was French. Stan Woodard is American. Yet they are alike. Both artists use found objects. Check out this work of art. Woodard calls it Gadget. He found a bunch of electronic parts. He put them on a slab of concrete. The gadget looks like it might work. Yet, what does it do? It can't do much. Can it be art? You be the judge. The glass car. A Mexican artist made this car. She copies Mexican styles. She matches them with other styles. Then she adds her own styles. That is how she creates art. She uses tiny pieces of glass in her art. She also uses little rocks. She attaches them to objects. It may be hard to tell, yet small pieces of glass cover this car. Do you think the car is fun? Should art be fun? Chilling art. Artists around the world carve ice. They take chunks of ice. They use tools. They carve and chip the chunks into shapes. What makes this art interesting? The art is not made to last. The chill air warms. The ice melts. In time, the art is gone. Some places have ice fests. Harbin, China has one every year. Artists come to the fest. They chip buildings out of ice. Art for the People Ernesto Nato thinks people and art should mix. He created this art. It is a big batch of sculptures. They are made of fabric. People can walk among the sculptures. They can touch the art. They can stop and chill. People become part of the art. The art changes as they come and go. What do you think? Would you like to become part of this art? Just a chair? Rodney McMillan found this chair. He put it with some other old stuff. He said the stuff told a story. It was a story about the people who used it. Rodney said the story was art. One writer did not agree. He said the chair was gross and ratty. Only a chump would call it art. Think about the art in this book. Does it match your ideas about art? The works in this book were cool. But were they really art? You decide. You can think more about it when you read the respond page. Turn to page 16 and follow along with the narrator. Respond. Think, talk, write. Which work of art do you like best? Why? Use these sentence starters as you answer. The work of art I like best is... I like it because... Reread. Look for the answer to this question. What are some ways that these artists try to change people's ideas about art?